Hey, so we're about to DIY the ish out of this garage door. Do you want to do it with me? Let's go. This is the game plan. This is what we're doing. I'm changing the color a little bit. It's going to stay dark, but it's probably going to be more of a black towards black. It's called cracked pepper. And then the windows, you're taking out these panes, and then I'm going to take the glass and spray it with frosted spray stuff that will turn it frosty. You know what I'm talking about? And I can't change the garage door, but this is as close as I can come to a more modern looking garage door. Let's see how it goes. All right, first, first things first, this is what you need. It's your basic stuff that you need for painting, some rollers, a tray. I got the one coat paint, which actually turned out to be a really good choice because we only have to paint it once. And make sure you wash your garage door down. We did that the day before, and now we're good to go. To take out the window panes, I highly recommend using some tape to hold down the glass because you just don't want that to fall out. Uh, and then very carefully unscrewed the backs. I just was holding it from the back just in case it would fall forward, but it was pretty secure with the tape. Be warned, it is going to be disgusting inside there. We got all the windows out, no breakage. Thank goodness, the tape really helped. Uh, but this is disgusting. Do you wanna see what, what lives inside of your garage door? Those are the flames that we took out of the garage door. Okay, opening these paint cans is really difficult, but basically you put this little piece on top, twist, and that's, I don't know why I make it that difficult. That is a beautiful color. Okay, now in hindsight, I have changed my mind. I do think this top spout thing was pretty useful and it kept the paint can pretty clean, um, but the, the fact that I can't open up the entire can was a bit of a, a learning curve there. And then we go in with the paint. It, honestly, from this angle and this lighting does not look like there's much of a change, but I promise you there is a difference. It's a much grayer black and it just it's just more us. So in order to get into the very corners, this was kind of my makeshift idea of just taping the rubber up. I don't know if this is right or wrong. <laughs> Maybe if there was an easier way to do this, but that's just my way of getting in there. And then you can just use the brush to get right into the, the corners like that. I'd say the whole process took us about an hour. Um, and I probably had the harder job trying to get into the crevices with the brush and kind of getting into the, the tops and the sides. But it was fine. All right, this is coat number one. I think we're good with one coat. What do you guys think? I feel like we're good. This was a one coat paint, so... I don't know that we need a second round. That color is stunning. Just stunning. So those are the four panes of glass. Now we need to clean them up and frost them. So first things first, let's wash. They're so disgusting. Oh my gosh. So the glass panes were actually a lot harder to wash than I thought. It wasn't as simple as just hosing them down. You really had to get in there and scrape off some of the gunk. This was actually one wash later, and you can still see it's pretty gross. Okay, so this is back second day now. The garage door looks amazing. Uh, and we're working on the glass now, trying to get it as clean as possible. It's got a lot of schmutz on it. Most of it's going to get hidden. We're trying to get it as clean as possible, and hopefully the frosty glass spray will cover it up. But I guess we'll see. So he's just going in with one of those little scraper things and trying to scrape off what he can, and then I'm just going to Windex it. Hopefully the best. Took a little bit of elbow grease and some patience, but we did get it as clean as possible. Going in with the uh, frosted glass spray. There we go. One thing I learned about spraying is stay as high up as possible in nice even strokes so that you don't get splotchiness. The first few that I did definitely were a bit more splotchy. But eventually we did get there. I did about two coats on one side, flip it over, two coats on the other side. I didn't like how it looked, so then I went back in and did another two coats on each side. So we ended up with about four, maybe five coats on each side. 
but I think it turned out pretty good. So this is a frost level after about two coats on each side. Not bad. I wonder if we should do another coat. So I put it up after the two coats of spray on each side and this is what it looks like. We started putting them up and then I decided they weren't frosty enough so took them out and resprayed them again. Each coat takes about 10 minutes to dry so it doesn't take that long to frost the glass. It's just a matter of what level of frost you want and I think trial and error is kind of the best way to do it here. And then just reverse the whole process of putting them back in, this time without the disgusting panes. Those are a long run. And there we go, that's done. You wanna see the final product? Okay, we're done. Are you ready? Are you ready? What? What is this? Because I know everyone's a sucker for a good before and after. Here's the before on the left and here's the after on the right. Can you believe that that is the exact same garage door? I just repainted it and switched out the glass for frosted glass. Well, painted the glass to be frosted glass and took out the panes and that's it. And no more spiders living in my garage door. Thank God. <laughs> What do you think? Overall, this is a pretty easy project and pretty inexpensive with a really big impact. 